We are back with some more Seahawks legacy franchise, and we are at the very end of free agency. And before we get into all the signings, I'm going to do my best to recap all of the trades that have went down. Um, this offseason is a very interesting one. The free agent list was pretty heavy. There was actually a lot of good talent out there. And, and I've made three trades. Last offseason, I don't think we made a single trade. And uh, this offseason, we've made all three trades we can. We only can make three trades a season, and we've done that. So um, we're going to skip those trades that I have made um, now. But every other trade that has went through, I'm going to try my best to um, update you guys on that. It's, it's always hard to recap all the trades, um, so bear with me. But the Texans did trade Deshaun Watson and a future third-round pick to the Minnesota Vikings for um, their Mond, Mond, what's I forget his Kellen Mond is that his name? The dude that they drafted um, a cornerback. What's that? Cam Dantzler or whatever. A defensive end, a current first, and a future first. So the Texans offloading Deshaun Watson. Interesting decision there. Trying to get that rebuild um, underway. Next trade is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are getting Aaron. Rodgers. So Tampa Bay will be getting Aaron Rodgers and um, T. Higgins, interesting, a current third and a fourth from the Indianapolis Colts. And the Colts will be getting um, Antoine Winfield, an outside linebacker, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name, as a cornerback and a second round pick. So Tampa Bay, as you guys can see on the screen here, Tom Brady no longer on the Tampa Bay Bucks. He is Aaron Rodgers instead. Um, this was a pretty massive deal here. The football team ended up sending Terry McLaurin, Jordan Love to the Colts, and um, and a strong safety to the Colts. And the football team received Demarcus Lawrence, Julian Blackman, um, and like it was like three second round picks, a, and a two first or something, or no, it was one first and I think three second round picks. So. Crazy deal there. Um, we're going to skip over my trade that's in the Discord. Um, next one is Jalen Hurts got sent to the Los Angeles Rams for two third-round picks. So I believe that's going to be the Rams' new quarterback. Um, obviously, we're going to take on Jalen twice a season. So that'll be his new dude there. The Colts also sent DeForest Buckner to the Detroit Lions. And the Lions are just getting a couple uh, picks Um or not the Lions, the Colts are getting a couple picks for DeForest Buckner. Um, brrr, scrolling down, Darren Waller is on the move. Darren Waller went to the Jets, and the Jets, um, who else did the Jets give up? So the Jets gave up their left tackle, um, Beckton, and a first and second in the next year's draft, so not the upcoming one. Um, and the Jets are getting Darren Waller. Um, the Ravens are trading J.K. Dobbins, so J.K. Dobbins going to the Raiders um, for just a cup for I think just a couple draft picks, which is interesting one there. Um, the Panthers added um, left tackle, blanking on his first name, but Armstead. I believe he's on the Saints. I want to say in real life, I'm not sure, um, but uh, the Panthers ended up sending a fourth round pick, a second round pick, and Bryce Callahan for him. So their left tackle is. Solid now. Keenan Allen is coming to Cleveland. Um, Cleveland is sending um, a what is this uh, for just a first round pick, I believe, um, which is interesting there. Um, and I think that is it. There's probably a couple more, but it's always it's always very very difficult to uh, find like the exact trades. Um, so we'll skip over mine. You might even get some spoilers as we're going through this, but. Uh, before we get into my free agents, I just want to update everyone. So that was the trades. We're gonna scroll through some of the. Excuse me. We're gonna scroll through some of the dudes that uh, were signed here. First one being Nick Bosa. He actually wasn't available in our silent bids that we do. Um, I think he wanted the franchise tag him and just wasn't home. But when we advanced, so that's why he got the one year twenty. So I believe that's why. What happened there? Um, Josh Jacobs now a Detroit Lion. JJ Watt going to the Bucks. Um, that was one I was interested in, you know, trying to go after, but uh, did not put a bid on JJ Watt. Chris Carson is now on the Las Vegas Raiders. I was tempted. I won't lie. I was tempted to go after him, see if I can bring him back on a cheaper deal. Um, AJ Brown going to be on the Rams, so now I got Jalen Hurts to worry about and. 
A.J. Brown on the Rams. That's a big deal there for the Rams. Cooper Cup, A.J. Brown, that's solid. I mean, that's a solid receiving core. The Browns get Tom Brady. Calvin Ridley going to the Chargers. Ryan Jensen going to the Panthers. John Johnson going to the Browns. Cameron Jordan going to the Vikings. I actually did place a bid on Cameron Jordan. I believe out of the top three, I want to say it was third. I had the least chance to uh, sign him. My bid was just a little lower than a couple other people. Didn't get him, so we did try to get Cameron Jordan, but we did not get him. The Vikings ended up snatching him. Um, I'm, not, I'm just going to scroll through like the high overalls. There's a lot of talent, so um, I'm just going to scroll through some of the higher stuff. Um, and then we'll end up stopping. I, it's just, it would take forever to go through all 100 of the top guys. Um, Juju went to the Raiders. Grady Jarrett to the Bears. Baker to the Steelers. Adrian Amos to the Chargers. Austin Hooper to the Raiders. CJ Gardner-Johnson to the Titans. Bobby Green Bay. I also did try to re-sign Bobby. Um, Bobby got a pretty hefty contract. Um, I was like fourth or fifth um, in total money, I did try to re-sign him on just a cheaper deal. I wasn't worth paying. I didn't want to pay him um, the, what he was asking for, what the contract said. So I tried getting him cheaper. Did not get Bobby, unfortunately. Robert Woods to the Falcons. Rodney Hudson to the Titans. Robbie Anderson to the Jets. Marcus Peters to the Bears. Um, David Montgomery going to the Ravens. But we'll just quickly scroll through some of these 80 overall dudes here. Just breeze through that. That's probably enough for that. Um, so we're gonna get into. I'm trying to think. Do I want to do? I'm gonna let's do my trades. Let's just go in the trades. The trades were first. Now, as a Seahawks fan in real life, this was a tough trade for me to make, but I think it had to happen because my main goal this off season. Obviously, I have some offensive line issues. I got some older guys. You know, I wanted to address that, but my main issue was the defense. I needed to try to revamp the defense and make it. As better as I as I can. That was the plan for me, and I couldn't re-sign Russell next year, and pay you know some big guys on the defensive side of the ball. So Russell has been traded. We have traded Russell Wilson to the Philadelphia Eagles. That's why the Eagles traded Jalen. So Russell to the Philadelphia Eagles, and I acquired two first-round picks in this upcoming draft, and they were picked 26 and 28, and a um, second-round pick next year so we have two second round picks next year and we have um two or sorry yeah two second round picks next year i guess if you're counting mine but we have two extra first this year so three first round picks this year this is this draft class is very deep in quarterback so i was like you know what i'm just gonna rock with a rookie quarterback i mean my earliest pick is 26 i did try packaging some of my first rounds to move up so i could try to draft a quarterback couldn't get that to work out um, so I was happy. I was like, you know what? I'll rock with a rookie quarterback. Um, you know, it is what it is. I won't have to pay a quarterback the rest of this Madden. And it, we'll just hopefully draft one and hit on someone. But then the Steelers signed Baker Mayfield. Well, guess what? The Steelers also had Joe Burrow. So as you can see where I'm probably going with this, let me scroll to make sure I get this exactly right with what pick I sent. We traded, um, I believe it was our 28th overall selection to the Steelers and got Joe Burrow. So Joe Burrow has to be re-signed next year. Um, he's an 84 overall superstar. Um, we'll get into that his stats and stuff in, later, but he's an 84 overall superstar right now, but he didn't start at all last season for who, I don't know why. So his morale is minus six. So he's technically 78 overall right now superstar because of the morale minus that he has because he just never played. Um, but you get that up, he's going to be an 84 overall superstar, and we have to re-sign him next year. So same boat as Russell, but will be cheaper than Russell because Russell's, what, 97 overall X-Factor and all this craziness. So he will be cheaper than Russell. And me and Joe Burrow go back, man. I, I mean, I, last Madden, I won a Super Bowl with Joe Burrow. For all of you that have watched that Bengals series, I did beat Trey when he was the Panthers, and I was the Bengals, and we won his ring on our second season. And so, uh, Joe Burrow, we've done it before. Maybe we can do it again. He'll be our future quarterback for the rest of this Madden, probably. I'm going to try to get him re-signed early next season, and that will be our guy. Um, and I'm happy with that. I was happy drafting, but if I'm only if I'm spending the 28th overall pick on Joe Burrow, I'm completely, completely happy with that. 
And our last trade was with the Los Angeles Rams. We acquired a middle linebacker by the name, um, what, what is this guy's name? Ernest Jones. Only traded my third round pick this upcoming draft for him. And he is 22, or no, 23 star dev and has really good stats. So he'll probably be our starting middle linebacker unless I end up drafting a middle linebacker. But he'll probably be my starting middle linebacker for us. Just taking a flyer on a guy. He, I'll show you his stats. He has really good stats. And uh, for a late third, I mean, it's a 31st pick in the third round. You might as well count that as a fourth round pick. Like, it's so late. So I was like, you might as well take a flyer on him. And he's still super young, 23. So I was like, I think that's well worth the pick. So those are our three trades. And then we'll get into my signings. So the very first signing we have is Max Crosby. He was the first player I went after. I went after heavily on him. Um, he's still pretty young. He's 26, 87 overall. As you can see, he got an absolute bag. We'll look at the stats or his, his, you know, his, uh, um, what's it called, his ratings and stuff in a second. Um, but Max Crosby was the first player I went after. I was the highest bid, highest chance to get him. And we indeed got him. So very, very excited to have him. We need to improve the pass rush. I need just bodies on the defensive line. So I'm, ha I'm, I got high expectations for Max, man. He better be getting me double-digit sacks. I mean, come on. We were trying. We were trying out here. Um, I also, like I said, tried getting Cameron Jordan. If I would have won Cameron Jordan, we could have had Max Crosby on one side, Cameron Jordan on the other. That would have been nasty. Uh, but we got Max Crosby. You know, I'm happy with this, and I really hope he can flourish and thrive under us. Um, our second signing, I guess we'll just go in order here, was Ruben Foster. Um, like I said, I'll show you the stats in a second. He will be playing outside linebacker for us, so he will be taking the spot of Cody Barton. I did look about look at getting maybe Cody Barton back, bringing him back, and um, decided not to. Like I said, I wanted to get faster on my linebackers, and um, Ruben Foster fits that perfectly. Three years, seven point five million or seventeen point five million. Um, so he will be playing left outside linebacker, um, Jordan Brooks on the right, and that middle linebacker that we got, Ernest Jones, will be playing in the middle. The next signing that we had was Mr. Morgan Moses. Like I said, I wanted to focus on the defensive side of the ball, so I needed to fill the left tackle spot. He's actually a right tackle, moved to the left side, just a one-year deal, 6.25 cheap. I mean, we, we got to throw a flyer out there. Um, especially because I still have two first round picks. So I still technically might be able to draft, you know, a lineman, but you just never know. It could be like a DJ Fluker situation where I sign this guy in free agency to be the starter, but then someone falls to me and I draft a tackle and I'm happy with him and I throw the rookie out there, you know, but I wanted to have insurance just in case a tackle didn't fall to me and, you know, I was stuck with some scrub. So. And it's only a one-year. One-year deals, I, I'll take all day because, you know, they play for a season, they're gone. You know, so got him on the books. Same thing with a center. Like I said, if a center falls, I can draft a rookie, throw him out there. But I wanted insurance just in case, you know. So those two were the next signings. They could start. It is what it is. Not like, except they're not like crazy, crazy good. But, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, then we went with some backups. So Ben Burkirvin, we decided to bring him back. He wanted a four-year deal. He'll be making like three point something a year, so nothing crazy for Ben, but a solid backup. Um, backup right tackle, we needed a backup right tackle, and a backup middle linebacker, so Alec Ogletree probably will only be here for a year, but we just needed a backup. Um, and then we got a new fullback. Nick Ballore is gone, so we got Reggie Gilliam a lot faster than Nick Ballore, so maybe this will help us out and um brandon graham was actually our very last signing that we made he's just sitting there and like i said it's a one-year deal so it's like one years are like what who cares i'll throw one year out there and and just see how you do maybe he can play in just the base packages and we can have alton robinson behind him so he'll essentially take lj collier's role um i mean if he sucks he sucks i can put lj back out there it's a one year i'm not too worried about it but i wanted just bodies so i can rotate around um, the big signing, like I said, being Max Crosby, he's he's going to be a massive, massive signing for us. Hopefully, can improve the pass rush. He'll be here for the next three years. Um, Ruben Foster could be a big one as well. I mean, all, all these guys can make, play some roles. Even the trades, you know, what if Joe Burrow just starts dominating, or what if Ernest Johnson, our freaking new middle linebacker, starts 
or Ernest Jones, sorry, starts, you know, going in. I think he has two years left, so, and he's so young, so, I mean, it's worth the flyer, in my opinion. But uh, that is that for the offseason. We have how many? Seven signings? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine new signings. Jesus, nine signings that we had. Um, still have two first round picks coming up. You know, those are some big picks. We didn't have a first round pick in the first draft, so two first round picks. Um, can, maybe we could hit on some of them in the draft. That'd be great. I obviously one of them will be a running back because we need a running back. Um, but the second first round pick, I'm really not sure. I could go pass rusher. I could go defensive tackle because Jaron Reed probably not going to resign him after this year. I could go corner. I mean, I could go alignment. I could go a lot of ways with um, one of those first round picks. So we'll just have to see how it falls to us and pick probably best available. Um, but one of them will be a running back for sure because that's just we really really need um, a running back. Well, I'm going to get into the stats here before we close up this video. Um, let me go. Why am I? There we go. I don't know why that took me forever. Um, but what, I just want to show you guys the stats and all the new guys. So Joe Burrow, like I said, he's got the minus six overall. But I mean, that a couple of, we get a couple of dubs. He's going to be starting. He's going to be right back in there. Joe Burr, baby. I mean, he's in the Super Bowl in real life. I mean, come on. We had to bring him back. He's already won a ring with us. I love Joe Burrow, so uh, I think this is a great replacement for Russell, and I really like his abilities inside Deadeye. Passes with this ability have perfect accuracy on all throws inside the numbers, except on high and low throws, and the roaming Deadeye. Passes with this ability have perfect accuracy on all unpressured throws while their feet are set outside the pocket. I mean, both pretty solid abilities. Maybe we can get him the X-Factor, which would be great. Um, like I said, we do have to re-sign him next year, but I'm happy with that. I'm totally fine with that. It's always hard to re-sign like Russell because who knows how Madden's going to do with their aggression or if they just make him randomly retire. That's always scary because I think Russell's like 35. I mean, still crazy how overall I'm playing really good, but it's just, like I said, it's just scary. You just, ne you just, you really never know. Um, but we got Reggie Gilliam, our new starting fullback. He's pretty young. Look at the speed though. 84 speed, 89 acceleration. So like, I wanted a fullback. I think that's what uh, Nick Ballor was okay but it took him. Sometimes we we run like a, pl a stretch play or something. And we're getting outside, and he just he he's too slow. He wouldn't get there in time to make the block. And if he did make the block on the guy, we'd be able to pick up ten yards, twenty yards, you know. And there'd be a couple times where he just wouldn't get there, and then the guy would I would outrun Nick Blore because he's so slow. Um, so I wanted to get a quicker fullback, see how he how he does. Um, it's not that I mean seventy six lead block. It's really not too bad. So we'll see how Mr. Reggie Gilliam does. He's on a two year deal. Hopefully, you know, he could do pretty solid. Morgan Moses, this is, you know, our maybe starter, depending on how things go. Strength, 94 with the boost, so not bad, not bad. I'm not too not too worried about Mr. Morgan. Our center, more of a run blocker, so that's another reason why I got him. His run blocking stats are a lot better than his pass blocking stats, so got him on the board just in case he has to start for us. Uh, moving on to the left end, Mr. Goat, Max Crosby. He better be a beast. His morale is minus two, but I think it's just because the Raiders had like three wins on the season or something, so probably just pissed off that they were losing. But he just got a lot of money. Hopefully he's happy now. And the speed, he's so fast, man. He's so quick. So this is going to be crucial. Crucial. He'll be on the left side, so that will be on the side. Um, you know, all those right-handed quarterbacks rolling out, rolling out, rolling out. So he'll be on that side, which is huge. Um, and that speed should help a lot. Play recognition is really good. His awareness is pretty high. I'm, I'm very, very excited for Max Crosby. I pray he pans out because if he doesn't, I'm going to be very disappointed. That's going to be a lot of money we put into him that just went to waste. Um, Brandon Graham, probably, like I said, will be playing the LJ Collier role on the right side. Um, he's superstar ability. He's not that quick, but a good block shedding. Play recognition is good. His strength is good. His awareness is great. He does have a decent ability and under pressure, you know, he could get there and affect the quarterback, make up throw an accurate pass. So I'm not sure my rotation. I mean, maybe I don't think Brandon Graham should be out there every single play. I think Alton led our team in sacks last season and at least deserves to still get some playing time. And I think LJ deserves some playing time too. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do quite yet. I mean, I might. I don't know. I want Max Crosby in there all the time, just getting snaps and trying to be crazy. So we'll have to figure out what I want to do. 
Um, but right now, for now, I think Brandon will be on the right side, and then Alton will be on the dime packages on the right side, and then LJ um, probably will be he'll be in there on goal line and probably some other, a couple other packages, but uh, not as much. Brandon Graham, just a vet, throwing him out there. I mean, if you look at his stats compared to LJ, I mean he's pretty much better in in almost everything. So. Um, Besides what his power, LJ's power is one better, but his finesse is way better, his block shed way better. So I think he'll probably play in the base, and then our dime stuff, Alton, we'll just move both those dudes over to the right side, and then LJ can back up Max Crosby. Daryl Taylor, kind of useless. I mean, I think Alton outplayed him last season, way less snaps, so Alton deserves it. Um, no new defensive tackles. Like I said, Reuben Foster, a new left outside linebacker. Wanted to get a little bit more quicker. Um, way more speed and acceleration than Cody and even hit power. And I think even his zone coverage. I mean, looking at the stat, I, I saw this dude's stats and I was like, holy shit, how is he here? Like, he's only a 77. His stats look amazing. He's got 89 hit power, which is really freaking good. 85 speed, 89 acceleration. His tackling's not even that bad. His zone's not that bad. I mean, his block shed and awareness really aren't that bad. So I was surprised to see even Ruben Foster here. So I'm happy to have him. Um, even his catching is high 60s. I mean, mid, mid 60s technically. But uh, I'm actually really, really happy with him and excited to see what he can do for us. Maybe I can get him up there in star or superstar, but his stats look amazing. So excited to have Ruben Foster. Um, here is Ernest Jones, the middle linebacker we traded for, late third round pick, star dev, 23. Um, let me double check. I want to say he did have two years. He did, yeah. So he has two years to prove it, see if he can you know, become Bobby Wagner light. Um, but another player, really good stats for being young. I mean... Who knows? What if I draft a middle linebacker? He might not even have these stats, and he'll be a rookie, I guess. But, th I mean, this is basically a rookie. If I, th this is, I mean, he's 23. He's so young. He's got uh, speed's not the best, 82, but he does have really good acceleration in 89. His tackling is pretty good at 85. His hit power, not bad at 84. His zone is 72. That's not too shabby. Now, here's the very interesting one is this man's jumping. He's 91, man. I've, I'm, I'm going to be cheesing with this guy. This dude's going to be jumping like crazy getting all these picks, um, especially if he somehow got the lurker ability. I think that's what it's called, the one that's on like Eric Kendricks. This man would be getting so many picks. He'd be insane. Um, so excited to use him. That jumping is crazy. Um, I'll probably be using him a lot, trying to, you know, dev him up and stuff. But very excited. Jordan obviously staying on the right side. I did show you guys his superstar ability. So um, we're like, what, one more overall to get him to the next one. Jordan's going to be a monster. Um, no new corners, no safeties, nothing new there. Um, and that is that. So here's our draft picks going into the draft. We have the first round pick from the Eagles. Um, I think the 28th pick, I want to say, was from the Bills, and that's who we traded to get Joe Burrow. So we don't have that, and we don't have our third because we got Ernest Jones with it. So we have two first, two late ones, but we do have two first, a second, a fourth, two fifth round picks, one from Pittsburgh, and a sixth round pick, no seventh round pick. And next year, we have a pick in every round and two in the second because we got the one from the Philadelphia Eagles in that Russell Wilson trade. So, hopefully, um, really hope the Eagles can kind of choke if they somehow don't make the playoffs and this can turn into like a low to mid second round pick. That would be awesome, but you know, you never know how it turns out. Um, need to hit on some of these early picks, man, especially the first. These are our two first first round picks that we've had since we didn't have the ones in the last draft um one of them will be on a running back we got a hit on that because chris carson had a solid season so we need to hit on that and like i said the second first round is just going to be you know what's there if there's a good corner i'll take that if there's a good tackle or defensive end i'll take that a good offensive lineman i'll take that we'll just have to see we'll have to see but i'm hoping some good running backs can follow to us Artie mckenzie i would say was a pretty solid pick in the um we had like a middle second round pick, I think it was. So he was a solid pick for what you know what we were drafting at. But I think this was a fairly good off season for us. We got off um, some hefty contracts in Russell. We got a quarterback replacement. We did bolster the defense. We got a new defensive, two new linebackers. Got a lot more speed at my linebacker position, which is what which is what I wanted to do. 
Um, two more edge rushers, Max Crosby, Brandon Graham. Very excited for Max Crosby. I just hope the man pans out. I'll show you his stats last season. I don't know. I mean, like I said, he wasn't on the best team. Um, this was Joe Burrow. Stats, I guess I can show you that. Not the best season for Joe. I guess he did start, but uh, I thought he didn't start, but he threw a shitload of picks, man. Did not have the best season for Mr. Joey Burrow there. Um, but on the defensive side, I think he only had six sacks, too. It was Max Crosby, so um, nothing crazy. But he did have uh, two forced fumbles. He actually had a touchdown, too. But uh, 34 tackles, 12 tackles for loss, six sacks. There's that. Two forced fumbles, like I said. Two fumble recoveries. And he even brought one of them back for a touchdown. So hopefully he can have a breakout season. I mean, he's on a he's on a better team, I guess you could say. I mean, I don't know. I think the Raiders were... I mean, Brandon Graham got five and a half, too, which is nice to see. So good to see Brandon Graham out there. And if Brandon Graham dominates, maybe I'd just let him and Brandon Graham go off. But I think for now, Brandon can stay in the base. And then our, you know, our actual nickels and dime formations, Alton can come out for that. I think that's how I'm going to start off the season and just see how it goes. Um, but let me know how you guys think we did in the off season. I think it's got to be at least like a B, right? I'm actually pretty proud of myself this off season. I got rid of Russell. I got a younger quarterback who can develop very, very high. I got some new signs on the defensive line. You know, trying to bolster that. I think that was our biggest need in the offseason was the defensive line so hopefully you know they can pan out that's all i got for this video though if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe like and comment and i'll see you guys in the next one